gentlemen, and welcome back. Kind of nervous about finishing this quest off here because, uh. Zoltan? I have the card right now and I can use it. About those cards. You got them? Got the Isengrim card. So it here. Ha! The sea hills are beautiful. Zed give you much trouble? Zed's dead. I ran into his murderers. Won't cry over spilt Zed. What about the other cards? Let's, Didn't uh, find the other cards. On here, see if Fuck. This leads us. Bugger must have sold them. Listen, got Zed's ledger. Show me. Hmm. Entries show him selling the cards to Caesar Bilson and Ravi. Uh, could have been worse. We need to pay him a visit. Who's Caesar Bilson? Cleaver's clerk. A decent fellow once, but so high and mighty now, you can't drink with him, let alone go fishing. Fishing? We met at the Anglers Club, the pride of the Pontar. But Caesar don't show around there no more. So caught up in his new role, he almost never leaves his house. At least we won't have to run around town looking for him. Ravi, who's he? A common card sharp and a swindler. Boggles my mind where he got the coin for the Natalis card. Ever since I give him a smack and things between us have been frosty, so you'll have to see him alone. Zoltan, seems awful important to you. I'll try to get you those cards. Thanks, Geralt. We can see Caesar together. Meet me outside his townhouse, gaudiest eyesore in Hierarch Square. He had the facade painted gold. And if you want to see Ravi first, I'd look for him at the Golden Sturgeon if I were you. All right. See you later. And no need to pussyfoot around with Ravi. Beat him about the ears a bit. He'll cave. Well, good luck to you, Geralt. I was fucking about minding my own business when suddenly up he pops and hears me. Elvin blood, eh? Ah, you're here. How'd you make out with Ravi? Haven't been to the Sturgeon yet. Fine, fine. Ravi's not going anywhere. Let's clean out Caesar Bilzin first. We'll do this. I'll chat him up while you sneak upstairs and search his cabinet of curiosities. Certainly keeps the card there. So what's in this cabinet? Ah, no man knows. You'll be the first to see it. I suspect it's either to do with buggery or metallurgy. But you can tell me once we're done. Let's go. Caesar Bilzin. I remember our quarrel about who's king of the Ponta. The Pike's king of the Ponta. Uh, well, you see, uh, I've come to convince you it's the catfish, and I do not come empty handed. Who's he? Well, him. Well, that's, that's Geralt. Does say uh, Geralt fish? Yeah. Cast an earthworm the other day. Caught this huge perch. And the Ponta! You betcha! Can't listen to this hogwash, Sober. Come in! So what the zanders are eager biters if they taste like shite and soapy water? That's cause you're about as good a cook as a goat's arse is a clarinet. It just recently, I took some fresh thyme. And it tasted like thyme-flavored shite. 
<laughs> Shut it. So, recently, I, I took this time. Get out? Care to chime in? How's Xander taste to you? Recent early isn't a word. Who'd you bring along, Chivi? Some plowing grammar purist? Well then, did you hear Vibo Batilda last cast a pea and caught a young pike? Ah, cocksuckers lying like always. Ponter Pike aren't so dim-witted to go after his rotten peas. You need life beat. Or night crawlers, though the pike aren't as eager. Don't know why. Once, dug up a crawly so fat and lovely I started drooling. Would have eaten it myself? I'm uh, not so sure. Geralt, what do you and your pals use up at Kaer Morhen? Live bait. You see, Chivi? He'll make a good angler yet. In some 50, 60 years. <laughs> We'll wait and see. Get out. Go fetch us another bottle. In a bit. No. You forgotten why we've come? How are we gonna get pissed in one bottle? Fine, going. Sure, blame that on us too. So. When are we gonna go noodling for catfish? I'm done fishing with you. Forget what happened last time. What about last time? Shouldn't he have yanked so hard he wouldn't have fallen in? Triangular hole in the wall. Interesting. Knife looks like it's attached to the tabletop. Drawer is open. Hmm. Huh. Fits perfectly. Secret door behind a bookcase. Classic. Statuette of a man. Wasn't carved, but produced using magic. Dining set for which I can't ask Trace about during it. his coronation ceremony. A set of Aranahid's necklace. Wonder if it's the real thing. Portrait of Emperor Amir. Temper on wood. Pretty flattering, I'd say. Full armor of the 7th Dareland Brigade. Excellent condition. Joachim de Vet Skull. Hmm, pretty grim curiosity. Rope with which Stefan Skellen was hanged. Ah, here's Fringilla. Hunters everywhere, everywhere. Zoltan, time we were on our way. Uh, I suppose so. It's grown late. Wait now. Leaving already? Where's that bottle you went to fetch? Greetings, Belzin. We've a message for you from the boss. Message? What kind of message? Mr. Cleaver's very unhappy. Now, just a minute. 
If any discrepancies have cropped up in the books, I can explain everything. Too late. Grab him! And you two, get lost! Leave him alone. Cleaver will pay extra for killing the Witcher. Well, hop to it, lads. Haven't you got all day? I feel for your ma, that she bore you. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> oh, how will I ever explain this to Cleaver? I'd recommend a letter. Right. <laughs> got a pack. Good luck, then. Farewell. Ah, oh, you've a soft heart after all, Geralt. Oh, by the by, splendid job with that last one. Blood splatter nearly hit the ceiling. Natalis card. Only one missing now. High time we saw Ravi. Go. I should contact the buyer. Agree on a place to make the transaction. See you, Geralt. Flea-ridden mutant. Join us, please. Ravi loves company. Look how happy he is to see us. You happy, Ravi? Sure he'd be happier if you stopped digging the point of that dagger in his back. Oh, you're just saying that because you don't know the situation. Our mutual friend Ravi here was just about to play for his life and... Uh, Oh, you got the card. What else do you want? If you'd just given it up, instead of trying to cheat us, we'd be out of your hair already. As it is, that's all your fingers broken. So, it seems the Witcher will have to play for you. Sound good? <laughs> See? Ravi's on board. What do you say we add some spice to the game? Raise the stakes. Ravi's life and the Natalis card. Fancy that? Agreed. <laughs> and here I thought you'd be no fun at all. Let's play, let's play!
Yes! Curb your enthusiasm, mate. And sit still, or you'll hurt yourself. But... But he won! So, now we'll play something else. Don't know how I'll repay you. The tallest card will do just fine. Oh, yeah. Uh, maybe you prefer some other? Got a whole array you might like. I'm in a hurry. The Natalis card, of course. Here. Miss me. <laughs> I want to take a look at these cards real quick. I don't think any of them. Oh, yeah, they are. Interesting. Maybe I'll hold off and not uh, turn this mission in so I can keep these cards, maybe? Yeah, I think I'm gonna go with that. For now, anyway. So we will go ahead and end off here, and we will pick back up in the next episode. So until then, see you later, and thanks for watching.